I think the easiest way to, to sort of frame the city's long-term sewer issues uh, are a couple things. One, the city for years has underinvested in its utilities. Secondly, the federal government is telling hundreds of cities across the United States, many in Indiana, that you have to upgrade your, your utilities, your water and sewer utilities. That is uh, for the express purpose of having cleaner water uh, for all Americans. You know, Renew Evansville, a lot of people ask me about what is that? and. Um, when you think of it in the context that Renew Evansville is probably the, the largest public works project the city of Evansville has ever been faced with. So the federal government is mandating that we spend millions of dollars. This is not a, uh, boy, this would be nice if we could. The federal government literally is saying, city of Evansville, you have to do this. And what we are proposing is that we spend about $540 million over 28 years. And believe me, there's not uh, anyone who runs for elected office that says, I'd like to raise sewer rates. The sad fact is that uh, every uh, water and sewer utility uh, customer will see significant rate increases for several years. There is no other way to finance uh, these improvements. In year one, we know the rate increase will be about 33%. In year two, we know it will be about 8%. And in year three, we know it will be about 18%. One of the things that we have found when we've looked at Evansville sewer rates compared to other uh, cities around the state, we're actually very low. So even with the sewer rate increases that we have, we're basically kind of moving up in the middle of the pack on residential rates and still have very attractive rates from, uh, for industrial and commercial customers. I think it's important to remember while the federal government is making us do this and the penalties for not doing it are extreme. I mean, the fines that could run millions of dollars but I think there's a greater good too. Uh, the goal of the Clean Water Act is to create better water. What we're really striving for is to leave the world in a better place for my daughter, my son-in-law, my grandsons, and uh, future generations. And so I think while no one likes to pay higher rates, uh, either on the water side or the sewer side, the goal of this project is to create a better world, a better environment, and I think that's what we need to keep in mind.